I'm here at La Capilla in Old Torrance. Check out the World War II store, Old Torrance.
that's a whole different one. That's all I'm going to show. Let's go into the antique attic, old toys. La Unique Boutique, Old Torrance. Is it all flowing? No, you can come in. Oh, okay. Uh, I just want to see some more gold stuff. Yeah, come on. Thank you. Vintage. That's Petunia. Petunia? Uh huh. I like the name. Thank you. Hi, right, Petunia. You're not a pig, though. No, she's not. <laughs> <laughs> we have some other room here, too. Oh, okay. Linens and things like that. I like looking at the old hats and the furs. Oh, well, we have uh, some fur stoles and things here. Most of them are 
most of our hats are put away for right now, but these are actual vintage. This one, that one, and that's a real fur hat. Wow, yeah, so I think I've seen that one. That's a mink hat, huh? Yes, we talked about that when yeah. we were in here last time and how it had the tags and everything. Yeah, we that's so at cool. Uh -huh. How much was that one again? This one is 35 Wow. When it was brand new, they had it marked at 59 See, it has even the original price tag. Wow. Isn't that crazy? That is. I think it's a pretty color. Yeah, it is. And the shape, sort of I mean, you can't... Auburn look. looking. Yeah, the shape is beautiful. <laughs> and did you know what year that was again? Or? No, I never was able to find out, but I would say anywhere from the 30s through the 50s. Going back as early as the 30s. I would think so, because they always wore this style hat. Yeah. And, um, of course, everybody wore real fur. Yeah. Up until Peter really went crazy with people, you know, so... I would say... Do the people that uh, get offended easily by furs, the ones that are spray painting furs, do they have a problem with people uh, wearing uh, uh, cow or sheep skins? Yes, it's anything having to do, I think, with animal byproducts. What are they supposed to do, throw it away? I mean, the American Indians I know. utilize that and make moccasins. Everything. Right. Everything. Well, the Eskimo Indians, too. They Them still too. do all the hunting and use the and walrus and yeah. all of, you know, moose and everything for the stuff that they wear still. Right. You know, so I, I don't know. I just think Even it's God clothed Adam and Eve with animal skins. Yes. But he's wrong and they're right. Of course, they think so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but what were you going to say? Um, I forgot now. But I, I, I think it's just, part? no, I just think it's something that, it in my opinion, has gotten out of control. Oh, you yeah. You know, especially if you're, you're not buying a new product, but you have vintage that's been handed down. Like, I have my mom's first stole. It's, it's about this color. And I have a suede jacket that has a fur collar on it like this. Yeah. But, you know, she got all those in the 60s as Christmas gifts from my dad. And so it's right. like, well, I'm not going to get rid of them just because no. somebody has an issue. It's not their business what I choose to wear. I'm not hurting anyone, and I'm not right. out killing animals. Right. And it's what's done is done. And right. Why throw it away? Exactly. It's being resourceful. Oh, yeah, I think it's, it's repurposing. <laughs> what do you want, huh? Now, now I, 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 you know, do see a problem, you know, with you know, the uh, guys out there on the ice bludgeoning uh, yeah. seals, I, I baby don't seals with in baseball any of bat. That. That, that's just. Yeah. But they associate that with everything, you right. know. Yeah, I think they go a little too far. That's why I say that. No, I, I believe in the, the saving of animals and. You know, I have a lot of family in Washington State, and they're all hunters, and I don't agree with that. I don't like it, but... How but they're eating the meat. Yes, they are. How can I criticize them? That's what they were raised to do up there, and a lot of them had very little money, and that's how they survive, and they do. They use it, They use the meat. They make, you know, uh, deer everything, venison and yeah. all of that. So that's their thing. Right. But they don't go out and just kill for the sport of killing. No, no. You know, and just leave an animal by the road. They don't do that. Right. So... You know, you have to look farther than just what you're seeing as the outward appearance, exactly. in my opinion. Yeah, because they have blinders on and they only see one fixed view or idea on something. Yes. They don't look outside of the box. So anyway, that's what we have right now. Nothing new has come in in that. Um, but if you are really interested in different furs, there used to be a guy that came on the Antique Sunday that's set up right oh, really? at the corner here. Oh. He used to have racks of furs. Really? Uh-huh. So I'll give you a schedule and we'll have the date starting for January. And, you know, not the same vendors are here every time, but I see him quite frequently. Yeah. And he's had, you know, fur tools, long fur coats, fur jackets, all of that. You remember, like in the 30s, that I, I've been watching a lot of 30s movies, and there was these guys with these long fur trench coats, and they were like, it was like in the college days. Oh yeah, that was those? a huge thing. A lot of those were raccoon. Raccoon. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Um, down here under 2017, these are all the dates uh, through November of next year. Okay. And that's where the guy would come. And like I say, people move around with their spots, but for a lot of times he was always here at the corner. Before okay. Before he cross over to La Capilla. He was oh. just right down here. By I the always street. go to La Capilla. Yeah, he's on this side of the street. Okay. And was always on that corner. I will for sure look. Yeah, so I, like I say, 
not all the vendors come every month because they have different shows that they go to, but it's always a way to come and see if the guy is here because he did have a nice variety. Because I always just like to stop and look, you know. It seemed like, like you know, with these old movies I'm watching, it's like uh, <coughs> wives back in the back in the day would get like, uh, you know, if they were. Uh, really honored or, or respected they would get like a, a, a fur coat like a sable mm -hmm. or a, a mink or cadillac yeah. <laughs> that was the big thing especially for the mob wives the mob wives uh -huh. <laughs> they always had nice furs and nice cars yeah but uh, an old movie you probably remember this was fred mcmurray uh -huh. and he wore a big raccoon coat in that it was one of the disney movies i think oh and sort of um, ringing a bell and he had a hat, but a big, a big raccoon coat. Huh. But yeah, that's what a lot of the college men wore. Were Isn't that funny? Coats. Uh huh. Because it was just, it was what was in style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was all the rage. Right? Yeah. So anyway, but yeah. So that's Thank what you. we have right now. You're very welcome. I'll take a peek in the back. Yeah, go ahead. I like the Swiss music too. Always a pleasure to see you. You're welcome. Yes, nice to see you. Have a very merry Christmas. Yeah, take really good care. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Well, this ends this uh, little tour of a few shops that I frequent from time to time just to look at stuff. Uh, I go to La Capilla and then I go to these shops to just sort of uh, pass the time looking at different things. <coughs> sort of a gloomy, ugly day out here today. Looks like it might rain. Uh, at any rate, God bless you all. And uh, Riva Derchi.